Well, hello again, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger, and I'm in a really good mood. I built the Rev G2, G3. Uh, this is a distortion pedal, bass mid-range, treble. It's got an aggression switch for three modes of aggression or gain, volume and gain. So it's volume, gain, bass mid-range, treble, 9 volts, and it's got an amber LED. This is a pre-finished uh, powder-coated chassis from a company called Tata. Now I got the PCB, I bought a printed circuit board and then ordered each individual component and soldered them into the circuit board. My wife goes through the parts and she'll use a multimeter, something that looks like this, and she will hand test each component to ensure that we don't have a dot and that the values are spot on. So I work with my partner, here's my wife over here, Gampti, she's the best. And this is the second one, the first one we built. I could not get it to work. This is the second time I've had a problem with uh, building from PCBs where I just gave up on it. And I have no idea what it was. I really don't. I really have no idea. But sometimes it happens. And then through the troubleshooting, uh, you'll just kind of, it's, it's rough on the, like, these projects are made to be made um, like one time and installed once. If you start taking it out and then flopping it all around, the wires tend to break off and it, it's fragile stuff. So uh, also pulling components on and off the board is really bad. The, the, you'll lift a trace, which is where the copper breaks and comes up and then you have to solder in little jumper wires. Anyway, that's what happened. I, I was troubleshooting it, and it just got to the point where I was like, I got to start over. So this has happened to me two times now. Um, I started this hobby in 1984. Anyway, uh, the Rev G3, you can buy this Rev G3. It's a purple pedal. It is a phenomenal that's my new word this is an awesome distortion pedal and what makes it so great well there isn't a real lot of noise there's a lot of gain there's it just sounds really great it's a great sounding distortion and it's really flexible um, with these different gain modes supposedly this is what i've read about it i mean my experience with this was playing it through this first act amp Okay, I finished it, it worked, and I thought, oh, I should do a video for my YouTube channel. Uh, because I had been talking about this pedal for a while, it's called, it's called the Tyrian, T-Y-R-I-A-N. The Tyrian is the name of the PCB. It's a clone of the Rev G3, which is this purple. It's a $300 distortion pedal. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe that that's the, the list retail price. I'm sure you could get it for 250 or 200 quarter or 200 U's, but it's a $300 distortion box, I believe. And uh, they have, Rev has a few G pedals. There's a few, the G3 is the one that really struck a chord with guitarists, although the G4 has even more gain. So I may I may end up building myself a G4. I gotta see, I gotta see how this works in with my rig. Right now, we are playing a 10 song set of guitar instrumental, going back to 1943. So there isn't a real need for a lot of distortion. As a matter of fact, I really only use a strong distortion sound on two of the songs. But I'm using a Nuex MG30, which is an all-in-one multi-effector. It has custom, you can load your own impulse responses. And I really love the MG30, although I do like pairing external pedals with it. Um, I've been running a Tube Screamer. I've been running a Hoochie Mama, which is a Clark Gainster that's built with... And the Clark Gainster is a... It's a very familiar topology. It's kind of like this which is op amp clipping LEDs. So this Clark Gainster, it uses old tube amp components. The build has carbon comp resistors that are huge. 
It has paper and oil capacitors, which are huge. All the parts are really expensive. And that's called a Hoochie Mama. So I've been using that Clark Gainster. Uh, I've been using the Tube Screamer. And I've been using a Zvex Super Hard On. And I, I like all three for different things. The, the Tube Screamer... Uh, It just makes it a little bit more clear and I'm not using any dirt. It's more like just a clean boost. And then the uh, the Hoochie Mama, I'm, I'm gaining it a little bit, I'm giving it a little distortion. And that's fat. It has a real big beefy low end. The Super Hard On is just a great equalizer pedal for switching between single coils and humbuckers and i really like the single coil sound for some of these songs but to keep the volumes matched and the gain levels matched it's nice to have a boost pedal so uh that's what i'm using right now this is like i've got some overdrives i don't have a distortion i really don't i've got i built a bunch of fuzzes and I built a bunch of distortion boxes. It just wasn't anything like, maybe the closest thing to something like this that does a real high gain thing. I, I, I built, and I built a lot. I built some Friedman stuff that I didn't like. Um, the BEOD, the Dirty Shirley, the JHS Angry Charlie. I really didn't like that. Um, the Wampler Triple Wreck, I don't like very much. I really don't like that. But this thing, this distortion pedal is the Rev G3. And I got to tell you guys, if you're a little bit of a stickler, if you've been around and you don't have a distortion pedal that you've bonded with and you just feel like, man, I love that fucking pedal. This is the one. It's quiet. Doesn't make any noise. It's got a ton of gain got great character three knob eq it's got voice or uh the, the aggression switch on it what more is it for you to love so look forward to hearing the rev g3 on this channel we are going to be i i really want to play for people this set is designed to play for live audience so hopefully this year we'll get to play for some people and if you're in the Chicago area, you want to come over and hear us play, get a hold of me. We can make it happen somehow. We'll come and play in your living room. We'll do a house concert for you and your friends. How does that sound? Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one on the Rev G3. I'm going to make it another video after this one where I talk about a special treat. It's, a, it's an ice cream brand that I've fallen in love with. And I really like this ice cream. So you're not going to want to miss Petey talking about Hudsonville ice cream. This has been the Rev G3 build report, I guess I'd call it, although I really talked about my rig a lot. I got to tell you, I was thrilled that this thing worked first time when I uh, fired it up, and it just sounded phenomenal. A little bit of playing I did through it. So look forward to some more with the Rev G3. Uh, I, I love you guys. <laughs> I really do. Hug your pets. Try to keep cool. And peace.